Okay, we'll take questions from Nathan Amico. Go ahead, start off, yeah. Corey. Um, I guess just for Amico, with um, you know, you, you seem like you were pretty frustrated early in the game, so that's stick and a half. Just, I guess, how much did the first one get you going? And your thoughts on the series? Yeah, well, there's puck wasn't really bouncing at, at times to our, our way, and but uh, so that's what happens. Sometimes you get frustrated. Obviously, try to avoid doing that. Um, overall, series was really really good for us. I think it, I think we got better after every game. We kind of looked at things we could do better, and I think we ramped it up uh, after each each game. So so really happy with the performance, and and uh, we keep moving now. From here. John. Nathan, your coach talked before the game about the scar tissue this team has built up over the years from past disappointments. And the Jets just finished talking about your ability to elevate and battle the way you did in this series. I wonder what you could you know, reveal or tell us about how you take that scar tissue and turn it into this team's ability to elevate over and over again in this series. Yeah, I think um, over the years you just learn that there's going to be highs and lows and um, it's how you react to it along the way, and super, super happy with everyone how how hard we worked and how uh, you know how hard we battled this series was amazing. Uh, before the series, I think we came in really humble. You know, we were we weren't playing well. These guys just beat us seven nothing, so it was a big wake up call to to how hard it takes to or how hard it takes to, to even win a, a series in this league. So super proud of the guys and a lot of work to left to do here. Go ahead, Rob. Uh, May sort of following up on that. From a Jets perspective, every time they tied it up, every time they got a big kill, their momentum was cut short by you guys fairly quickly, I would say. Is there something that you can characterize the playoff intensity of having that resilience to always take over when the moment comes? I just think it's everyone's on the same page. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of similarities to the year we won, I think. We just know everyone in that room is going to give everything they have. And uh, that's the standard. And obviously, you know whether you score or don't, that's some of that stuff is out of your control. But you can control your effort and, and how hard you work. And uh, we got everyone on the same page right now, battling. And you know whether we win or lose, we just want to go out swinging. And we uh, had a great series in that sense. Okay, go ahead, Corey. For either of you, I think the, the fourth line had a really good shift right before you guys scored the first goal. And then obviously Yakov got one. Just sort of their the depth contributions you guys got in the series. Yeah, I think it's it's great. I think the way they like I would say all all four lines and, and especially you know bottom six is is played. You know I think the the momentum they create, like you said, like ozone ozone faceoffs or second period we can change change our line or, or the second line out there when they're they got the other other team hemmed in. So. So I think uh, they've been doing a really good job and obviously big goal by Trent, so we were happy to see that too. Go on the back, Jesse. Uh, <clears throat> Miko, Jakob told us that he was happy that you were able, he was proud of the fact that Jordy was able to shut up the haters after game one. Just what can you say about what Georgia did for you guys in that? Yeah, it shows mental toughness uh, from him. You know, I think he was, obviously it's tough, tough probably after the first game and frustration, but the way he reset and one four in a row for us, and, and there were some games when he was making those uh, game savers. I would say, you know, like uh, they were they were going up or or uh, tie the game, but he he was out he was out there and stopping the puck really well. So so really happy for him and proud of him. Evan, uh, it's either further you, but Casey Mills said hadn't come hadn't played playoff game before this series, but how much has he changed the I guess what this team can do his his presence and. I guess the matchups that maybe you guys get on a nightly basis. Yeah, I think uh, he was super impressive. I mean, he was him and Lucky and, and Z were unreal this series, and um, just watching Mitzi how hard he competes out there. I think a lot of people didn't expect that out of him, um, but man, he competed hard and made some great plays and had some great poise and uh, looked like he's been there lots. Uh, so he's an awesome guy. Works his works really hard and. Uh, yeah, those guys, that whole line was was great. They uh, huge reason why we won the series. Uh, They're awesome. Last one, Phil Sean. Either of you who wants to take this to the points about your depth in this series, you kind of have a lot of guys on the team who didn't go to that cup with you and didn't experience that. And I'm wondering how you kind of 
get players who haven't been there? Who, who are the guys who do it? Who are the leaders who kind of get those guys up to the same pressure that you guys have, have experienced before and respond to it the way they did? Um, I think everyone does. Uh, you know, I think all the new guys, when they come in, um, they understand what, you know, Betsy wants out of us, what, you know, guys have been for, here for a while, want out of each other. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a high standard, but we have fun doing it, um, I think. We have a lot of fun every day. Um, but yeah, we do have a lot of guys still from that team, but like you said, a lot of new guys too. But um, it's not rocket science. I just think the biggest thing is, is just rolling with the punches. It's not, it's not going to be pretty. We're not going to have leads every night. And just to, to not break mentally ever and just keep pushing and pushing because the momentum can switch at any time, um, especially on the road, I think. It's, it's hard sometimes to play at home, a lot of pressure. You're supposed to kill teams, and uh, so we know it's hard to hold leads. The year we won, we came back 10 or 11 times. So I just think just knowing that and, um, yeah, that's kind of our key. Good. All right, thanks, guys. Jared, my darling, you up next.